Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing this palette right here. This is Tropical Bay from Peachy Queen. I got this in a mystery box from them and I am thrilled because I have not tried anything from this brand yet. So this is a first everything for me for this brand. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the palette. Those are the colors and this is a first impression so I'm going to try to put as many of these colors on my eyeballs that I can possibly fit and it really just does nothing but give, gives me a, a feel for the formula and the color story in the palette. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me see, what do I want to start with? I think what I am going to start with is, I think I'm going to start with this color right here. Baby, it's 2.30 and I should probably head back. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this pink color right here. I'm afraid to be alone. What do I need to do to get some time with you? I'd rather be half involved and missing all of you. Drinking till the sun comes up. Better than feeling like I need. I think I made a bit of a mess, so we're just gonna keep going and hopefully it'll turn out okay. Um, I think I want to go in. I'm gonna go in with the this yellow color right here. Dancing to my legs going up till I go Okay, so I'm gonna go in with actually no, I think I'm gonna go in with green. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this green right here. My legs go numb. Now I'm going to give that green some shimmer and I'm going to go over top of it with that green and then this green right here. Okay, so my eyelids look like a hot mess right now. Um, this top part does. So I'm going to work on changing that. Um, I am going to go in with this orange color right here. Baby, it's for 30. My whole world is upset. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with this pink color right here. I can't help but wish that you were here with me. And now I'm gonna go in with this red. These nuts are rolling over me. Okay, so it definitely needs some blending out, so I'm going to take a fluffy brush and kind of blend it out so it looks a little prettier. That's not how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I can stop thinking about you. Yeah, my body forgot to move. Girl, you took the most of me. Okay, so now we're going to go under the eyes, and let me think for a minute. I think what I am going to do is... I'm going to start out with, no, I'm just going to go in with this sheer blue color right here, and then I'm going to probably go this blue and then this purple. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that and then decide if I'm going to add more. I just keep on drinking till the sun comes up. I think I'm going to stop there. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to successfully get any more on. So I'm going to stop there and I just realized I did not swatch these. So I'm going to swatch that and then come back and finish the eye. So let me swatch that and I'll be right back. So those are the colors swatched. And you can tell that there was a good mix of mattes and shimmers in that palette. 
but we are going to continue to move on to eyeliner. So for bottom eyeliner, there we go, I have my Marc Jacobs eyeliner that I am using in the waterline. Okay, bottom liner is done. Now we're moving on to top, and this is what we're using. All right, so eyes are done. We are moving into lips, and I think what I'm going to go with, I'm going to do a matte liquid lip from Hank and Henry. This is Comadre. I'm gonna go over it with this gloss right here from Ruby May. This is San Diego. All right, there is the completed look. So let's talk about the palette now. So again, as I was saying before, there is some mattes, one, two, three, well, I mean, there's a good variety of mattes. I don't really feel like counting. Um, as far as shades that I used, I used, let me count real quick, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I used 11 out of 15 shades. I think that's pretty good. I think the look turned out okay. Um, formula. Okay, the formula felt really good. It applied well. It swatched well. I didn't have a problem blending out. It was way more pigmented than I expected. So if you want a pigmented palette, this definitely has that. Uh, there was a little bit of fallout. I don't know if you can see it. There was some kick up in some of the foils, which is normal for a foil. But there was quite a bit of fallout in some of these um, mattes, but it, it's really not a problem. I mean, I didn't experience a lot of fallout on my eyes like when I applied it, so that's a good thing. Um, but that is it of my thoughts on this palette. I think it's a good variety range. I think you can create many, many, many looks with this um, color story. So I have no complaints. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this palette. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I hope to see you in my next video.